And we're back. Now, it's been a minute since the last fan showdown, but have no fear, the fan showdown isn't going anywhere. It's just, we had some other videos to make, but, but we're back now. We have four new contenders for the best. Maybe best isn't the, the best term for it, but it, four new contenders, contenders for the funniest or at least the most unique PC cooling fan ever created. And if you're new to the channel or just this video, Thanks for checking it out. I hope you get subscribed to the channel, but this video is part of a, of a series that I run on the channel where you out there try your hand at designing what you think a PC fan should be. You then send those designs to me, I print them out, we all have a look at them, we do some testing, and we, we rank them from best to worst. And it's always fun. And yes, PC modding, or PC cooling fan modding is a thing, and no, I don't know how we got here. Thank you to Lester for sponsoring this video. If you're like me, most of your shopping happens online. However, sometimes it's hard to figure out if you're really getting the best product for your money, and this is where Luster can help. Luster is a free product research assistant that helps you make informed purchasing decisions. Say you're shopping for something like a new monitor, but you don't really know which one to buy. Luster will immediately tell you which ones are the best for your budget so you can be sure you're getting the best bang for your buck. You can actually see why people chose the products they did by checking reviews and ratings from sources that you trust, like Wirecutter, Reddit Discussions, and other YouTubers. Luster can even tell you if a product's on sale or compare prices across many retailers like Walmart, Target, or Best Buy. Online shopping is meant to be quick, so save time and money and always get the best products by installing Luster using the link in the description below. It's completely free. Now, the first one up today is the Golden Ratio, and it was designed by Casey. Now, you've probably heard of the Golden Ratio. If not, this is it. And if we made this video as long as this number, it would never end because this is phi, and phi is an irrational number. An irrational number is a number that cannot be written as a ratio between two integers, and an integer being a number that can be written without a fractional component. Is this math class? How does this have anything to do with this fan? Well, let me tell you. If you take this shape, which is a golden rectangle, a rectangle whose ratio of the long side to the short side is phi, and then you take another golden rectangle and you put it inside, and you take another golden rectangle, and another, and another, and another, and another, and then you draw a curve through all these rectangles, you get something called the golden spiral, and that's what Casey used to design this fan. So if this fan is actually an accurate representation of the golden spiral, or the golden ratio, if we were to take each of these blades and trace them all the way around, each ring would be exactly one golden ratio from the next. Mmm, math. And because the golden rectangle is said to be the most aesthetically pleasing shape in the entire world, this should be the most aesthetically pleasing fan ever created. What do you think? Also, shout out to Caleb. That's Casey's brother. Casey said that Caleb was the one who turned him on to the channel, and the real reason we have this fan to look at, so thanks, Caleb, for help, you know, help spreading the channel and help helping making it grow. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for this. I hope to see your fan in the future. Now, if this fan, you know, hurt your brain a little bit too much, the next fan, it required a little bit less math. This is the Sus, and it was created by Lucas, and although there might have been a little less math involved than this one, there was just as much skill. This 11-blade fan was inspired by the game Among Us, and each of the 11 blades is a perfect representation of the crewmate, which is the character in Among Us. Maybe it's the, uh, the imposter? I don't know. But I do know, or did you know, that the that the Among Us, the game, came out in 2018, which is kind of weird because it was just like the hot new thing. But you know what else happened in 2018? Let me tell you. In 2018, Tran Min Thun woke up and headed out for a day of fishing. You know, as usual. But when he pulled in his line that day, I can only imagine the butt-clenching sight he behold. <laughs> because on that December day, he didn't really, he didn't catch a fish. He caught a torpedo. Can you even imagine pulling in your line and seeing a 22 foot long torpedo on the other side? And what's even more crazy is that after seeing this death machine, he proceeded to drag it ashore to get a better look at it. Yeah. Dude snagged a torpedo four miles off the coast and then instead of becoming the Jesus lizard, nope. Oh, no, no. He just decided, I'm gonna drag it over there because I wanna take a look at this thing. That's insane. Now, it's thought that Tran Min snagged a lost YU-6 Chinese torpedo. Now, the torpedo did have orange markings on the front where the warhead would be, and this is kind of, it's thought to be the marking for the Chinese torpedoes that this is like a training round. But regardless of that, if I found a torpedo, I wouldn't be dragging it anywhere. 
Now, I missed this story back in 2018, but Joseph did not, and he took one look at this mystery torb and thought, PC fan. Specifically, the propellers used on the YU-6. From the photos, Joseph created an accurate depiction of the propeller to use as a PC fan. And all in all, he did a pretty good job of uh, making it work. I did have one issue though. When I tried to put this on the A12X25 frame, it was a bit too big. So I had to clip each blade. I'm hoping that doesn't really hurt the performance that much, but yeah, just a little too big. That's what she said. That's what she said. Now this last fan is a bit more of a piece of art than it is a fan. This is the Scramble Jet and it was created by Jay Lenny. The Scramble Jet was inspired by a jet engine, which I can see when you look at the front of it. But as you turn it to the side, I, it kind of loses me a little bit. I mean, it looks good, but it's something. It reminds me more of like the Tulip from season one, episode five, if you remember that fan. I imagine this to be like an evolution of the Tulip as it went from the Tulip to like a real PC fan. This would be like the, the mid, the mid level evolution. Also the blades, if you look at them based on how the fan rotates, this one's gonna be one of those fans that pulls air in the opposite direction of what we're used to from the A12X25. So that'll be interesting to see if it, if it works at all. But before that, let's take a look at all the noise testing. The golden ratio came in at 39.7. The sus came in at 50.9. The torpedo came in at 48.9. Scramble jet came in at 40.7. So yes, the scramble jet was very, very quiet, but the golden ratio was probably the quietest fan that I have ever tested. So as long as it moves some amount of air, so we can classify it as a fan, it might be the quietest fan I've ever seen. It did move air, so it's safe to call it a fan. It didn't, didn't move very much, so I'm not sure how much cooling power it's gonna have. The golden ratio came in with an average temperature of 85.4 at a room temperature of 19.5, giving us a delta of 65.9. The scramble jet came in with an average temperature of 84.5 at a room temperature of 19.9, giving us a delta of 64.6. The sus came in with an average temperature of 80.6 at a room temperature of 19.7, giving us a delta of 60.9. And the torpedo came in with an average temperature of 77.9 at a room temperature of 19.6, giving us a delta of 58.3. Placing the torpedo in first place, the sus in second place, the scramble jet in third, and the golden ratio in fourth. So even though I had to clip the blades of this fan to make it fit, it did place fourth overall, pushing the semi-radial stator fan off the board. But what I really wanna know is if I didn't have to clip each blade to make it fit, do you think that the, the performance would have gone up? or down. It's an interesting thought experiment. I had to modify it just a bit to get it to fit, but because of that, did it get worse or better? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you like the fan showdown, make sure to click the like button. That's how we feed the algorithm. And also lets me know that you guys are in loving the, loving the series. We'll make some more. Make sure to get out there, design your favorite fan or your favorite looking fan. Make a meme, make a math fan. Do whatever you want. It's always fun. We'll see you next time.